Hello and happy Friday. It's Mrs. Nelson. I have a story for the weekend. This one is called Zoo in the Sky. It's by Jacqueline Mitten and the pictures are by Christina Balit. And it is a National Geographic Society book. It's a book of animal constellations. So when we look up in the sky and we see stars, just like these, when you look into the sky, you might see some pictures when you connect the dots. It's a really beautiful book and I love the, the stories of the constellations. When the sun sets, darkness falls. The stars appear one by one. Then the sky turns to a picture puzzle. What is hiding in the patterns of stars? Some people say they only see squares and squiggles, lines and loops, but imagine hard and the sky comes to life. The star patterns make a wing here, a tail there, a twinkling eye, even a scorpion stinger. Sky watchers long, long ago imagined a whole zoo of animals. They shine there still when you are under the magic spell of the nighttime sky. I'll just show you this wonderful picture of the nighttime sky. Look at there, look at all those different pictures, different animals. And this is a cool book too because it can be, it's a little glittery and shiny. If you see, I don't know if you can tell, but some of my some of these are shiny stars and they light up a little bit. They reflect the light a little bit. Here's the first one, the great bear. The great bear quietly pads her way around the north pole of the sky. Every day she makes the trip. Two bright stars across her back point straight to Polaris, the north star. Hanging off Polaris by his tail, the little bear swings around behind her. You won't see bears quite the same anywhere else. Real live bears don't have long tails. Don't have long tails. I have some students at Anthem who remember going into Star Lab with me, our big inflatable planetarium where we would look up at stars and talk about some of these animals and tell some of the stories. I enjoyed doing that with my students. There's another page. Let's see if you can see this one. That one's really beautiful. Countless stars light the Milky Way. Along this silvery path, with wings outstretched, flies the swan. On July and August nights, he soars from east to west across the sky. It takes him from dusk, that's the, the end of the day when it's starting to get dark, until dawn. His eye gleams with a twin star, yellow and blue, called Albirio. He needs a good eye to keep a sharp lookout. The cunning fox runs beneath him, looking for his dinner. So if you look here, you can see that twin star in his eye. And there's the fox running just beneath. I'm missing a page, I don't think so. Oh, I like this picture. The scorpion has a nasty sting in its tail, right there. Beware as he scuttles across the Milky Way. His tail is curved around and he is waving his fearsome claws. On Terry's, a blood-red star glows at his heart. See, can you see Antares at his heart? It's got a red circle around it. But the wolf nearby is not afraid. After all, he is not such a friendly creature himself. Mm, could be, could be. I think that's one of my favorite pages in this book. 
But this one might well be yours. Look at that. There we go. And look, oh, I love that sun. I love that sun peeking through on the side. Leo the lion is king of the beasts and lord of the sky. In February and March, he looks down from a throne high up in the heavens. Stars in his mane shine like jewels in a crown. His brightest star lies close to his heart. That star's name is Regulus. Regulus, which means the little king. There, close to his heart. Brightest star. This is a really cool book. Sometimes I forget how amazing this book is. Charging through the zodiac, here comes the bull. Head down, horns thrust forward, Taurus is ready to toss the twins. Do you see the twins there? The twins. But they are safe always on the other side of the Milky Way. The bull glowers with a brilliant red eye, the star Aldebaran. Can you see that right there? Red eye. A whole cluster of stars is scattered around his nose. The Pleiades huddle behind his shoulder. These starry sisters are not afraid. They know he never looks back. I love this picture too. Look, look at his face as he chases the rabbit. Look at the dog. The great dog is chasing the hare. Another name for a rabbit, right? Another word but knows he never can catch it. This dog is a splendid, star-studded creature. His brightest star, Sirius, outshines all others in the night sky. Oh my goodness, to have that star in my constellation. Sirius means scorching one, a good name for a white hot star. But spot it low in the sky, and Sirius flashes all the colors of the rainbow, like a diamond glinting in sunlight. So that must be why it's, it's just so bright and shiny in our book. I like this. Nope, we're not reading rainbow fish at this time, but I do see some fish and I see some rainbow colors. Deep in the southern sky, the glittering goldfish swims alongside where the good ship Argo sails an ocean of stars. The flying fish gives chase in fun, soaring out of the waves. So there you can see the flying fish chasing the goldfish. Now take care, he warns. We must not get caught, but the fish are safe in their starry sea. They will never be anyone's dinner. Oh, I have a lot of kids who really liked the whale in this picture. You can, it takes a long time to see him. He's a Big, big creature. The whale is the greatest of all living creatures. He is one of the largest in the sky, too. A monstrous size. He is sometimes called the sea monster. On the whale's back, you find Mira, the marvelous star. See how red it glows by his fin. Can you see Mira right there? can see that little bit of red around it. It's much brighter. If you were in my room with me, you would see that it's much brighter in the book. Mira keeps dimming till it disappears. Then little by little, it brightens once more. 
About a year later, it's back, bright as ever, only to fade all over again. That's interesting, don't you think? I think so. Yes. Look at this. This is a spectacular picture. I see some amazing birds here on this page. Which is your favorite? Which is your favorite? A zoo without birds would never do. In the sky, there's a whole flock parading by the South Pole. Tails on display. The proud peacock and the bird of paradise show off to anyone who watches. The toucan's glory is his beak. So here's the bird of paradise. The bird of paradise. Here's the peacock. The toucan's glory is his beak studded with an orange star. An orange star right there. It's not in his beak, though. When I see it here, it's in his eye. The crane peers at them all, stretching his long neck. Red and blue stars shine on his back. Right there. I think this page is just so bright and so colorful and interesting. Oh, here we go. Here is the long, scaly body of the crimson-eyed dragon coils around the north pole of the heavens. Take care, he might breathe fire. You won't find a dragon like him in an ordinary zoo. But starry sky is magic and one fine sparkly night. Who knows? You might just fall under its spell. Let's look at this wonderful dragon right from his head, right there. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful picture. I think that I would fall under this dragon spell with no trouble at all. It's the end of this book, but there is other information about the stars and the sky and the constellations. constellations. So it's a book that's well worth reading and exploring further. Zoom in the Sky by Jacqueline Mitten and pictures by Christina Ballit. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good weekend. Bye.